YouTube, this is cover two credits. We are back and stared as I don't know. Stair told me he wants to do something, well, but he didn't tell me what. It's gonna be a bit of a musical recommendation and just a discussion. And basically I listen to a little bit of everything. You know, I uh, hip hop rock a lot, musical theater I like a lot, of stuff on Broadway stuff I like, some of the stuff like Fan of the Opera I listen to, you know, while I'm writing a book, play it in the background kind of thing. So uh, I stumbled upon a musical a while back, and now it is just exploded. They won a, uh, a Grammy for the um, official like soundtrack recording. It just went gold, I think. There, It's an off-Broadway play, but soon to be it's more popular than some of them that are on right now. They're going to travel around the country, I think, next year. Um, but we'll get back to what it's called, what it is. It is called Hamilton. Now, I hope some of you have heard of this. I know if there's a few of you that I physically know that are watching, I know you've heard of this because I've discussed this with you before. I haven't really talked to Kevin about it before, but let me give you the premise of Hamilton. I have to give you a little bit of the background into the guy who write, wrote Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Lin-Manuel Miranda is a second generation uh, from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. His father and his mother came here. When at 18, his father graduated from uh, university in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. got a scholarship to go to NYU, mm -hmm. was in the NYU medical department mm -hmm. while teaching himself English. Mm -hmm. So he was going to school there and, and teaching himself English at the same time. That's tough. Yeah. So you get the kind of ambition that, that there is. Uh, Lynn wrote a musical called Into the Heights last year. I don't know when he wrote it, but it was... It swept through, like, the Tony Awards and stuff last year. Uh, they won a bunch of awards with that. So he'll tell a story about he was get, about to get on a plane to fly four or five hours. Buys a book, and it's the story of Alexander Hamilton. And you're thinking, Alexander Hamilton. Do you, what do you know about Hamilton? Anything? No. I bet you knew that, whether you knew it or not, that... He was killed in a duel by Aaron Burr. You've heard that before, probably. Yes. Okay. See, a lot of people don't even put that together at the beginning. Now, one of the only founding fathers... I didn't know fathers, you were with that, Hamilton. One of the only founding fathers to not become the president ever mm -hmm. uh, was the creator of the treasury. Mm -hmm. Lynn reads this book and realizes that there's a lot more to his life story than people really think about and how the, he, the, he decides to put it to music. This is a rap, hip-hop based musical about the life of Alexander Hamilton. That'd be interesting. That is fully cast right now by uh, minorities. There's, like, there's only two white cast members at all and they play the King of England. Mm -hmm. One plays the King of England. Yeah, so. Um, but the the music is great. Like I have the soundtrack in my car. I'll probably send it home with you on the way. It is great. Uh, they and people are, like they played on the they oh, they played their opening song on the, on the Grammys, and uh, Lynn plays the head character Alexander Hamilton, and uh, they just like the people around him were amazing. To where this is taken kind of everybody by surprise because one when you say a historical musical based in rap and hip hop people are like no but this this it works extremely well and uh, and everybody I've kind of pointed toward it has ended up really really enjoying it um, the tickets are like sold out so far in advance that they do a lottery I don't know if it's daily or weekly tickets. so people can get in to get tickets so like there are, there are chances for you to get tickets they do uh, what they call the ham for ham show on they put up on YouTube where somebody in the cast will come out and they will do a show on the sidewalk outside their theater. And it's what it is. It's usually either apart from the show or apart from somebody that played another part in another musical. They'll come out and they'll sing for everybody and then they'll go back in, you know. And, and uh, it's like an ad for the show and that kind of thing. But they do it uh, daily. There's usually him for hams or three or four times a week. Um, but it's, it's kind of, kind of been a little bit of a whirlwind for them because I don't, they haven't been really going all that long and like they just got done, the entire show went to the White House and when they're there, they, they kind of let them have free reign. So, uh, they were 
filming in different like rooms and they uh there was a big press conference with the president where he talked about how he's been listening and enjoying everything and then they played a couple songs for them and uh it's it just it's it's extremely different than anything i had heard before i know you can stream it on spotify you can buy the cd uh, i think i got my like barnes and noble um but and if you all you can download it digitally you know how that is but uh, I would recommend listening to it at least one time. Listen to it, just to hear the the difference. And the story's not bad. The story's kind of interesting. I mean, you kind of know where it's going to end, but the story is good. The second lead character is Aaron Burr. I mean, he is the second guy, and uh, the guy that sings uh, Leslie Odom Jr. The guy that sings the part is amazing. Like, just a great, great part. But uh, it's it's extremely good. And I just I wanted to bring it to you because I knew you had never heard of it. And yeah, I know you would like, you're like, what, hip-hop-based historical, yeah. I've always been of the impression, uh, at least from the stuff I've experienced and found, is that, to me, good art transcends genre. Yeah, yeah. If you can take a masterpiece of modern art, you can show it to a classical type person in the 1700s and they would still be impressed by it and the same goes the other direction but i also will say that normally you think of people that are the people that are like i'll say the broadway snobs that are not going to think the same oh no like i said that's 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 not that that is a that is a personal observation to mm -hmm. me no i and i you would could, agree you could there's a good a like lot said, of people if you took a great story mm -hmm doesn't matter what genre you cast it in. If the characters are good, it doesn't matter. If you want to write it as a sci-fi novel, you could do it. If you want to write it as a sword and horses fantasy, you could do it. If you want to write it as a romance novel, you could probably do it. Like I said, great story transcends genre. And the America has always been a, and I'm going to wax a little patriotic here, which almost never happens because personally I think America is sort of a trash pit right now. in the general sense. However, the one thing we do best is we, t we have such disparate ideas and people and ideas, and we have a tendency to just sort of slap them together like a sandwich, and occasionally it works out pretty well, and it sounds like that's pretty much what happened in this case. It's really weird because like they, in in the in the musical they talk about some of like the letters that were written between like uh, Alexander and his wife, and Alexander and his wife's sister, and the sisters writing to each other, and like. People hear the lyrics and like, oh, that's waxing poetic, if you will. And, and then like, he pulls out the book and like during interviews, pull out the book and like thumb through it and read. And they use like line for line some of these letters, and it works perfectly to music. And it's like it's crazy that, but it even when I heard it, I'm like that seems far fetched. The historical hip hop based musical, but it works very well. That is their stage right now they have two big turntables that counter turn so at some points people are like rotating in the wrong in different directions it's really weird but it's it's really really good uh i definitely especially if you like history at all mm -hmm. listen to this one time seek it out find it you can find parts of it all over youtube uh the opening scene is called the opening song is called alexander hamilton listen to it it'll give you an idea where everything's going and I would definitely recommend this. And I know that's weird, a musical recommendation, but I, I thought, it's you know... It's our show, we can recommend musicals if we want. Not yeah. a huge musical yeah. guy. I actually like theater, but I'm more of a uh, the old um, old fashioned play, the yeah. musicals, to me. This is definitely one, though, you've got to listen to at least one time. All right. I will do so. So if you guys have any recommendations, or if you've listened to this or recommend any other thoughts for... Are you using one of your link clicks on this for me? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I have a tendency to find a bunch of things that I find interesting and I send to him online. And he's like, listen, I'm never going to open half these links. You are numbered to a few links. So, I look Pick at the them, ones you really want and yeah. give me those. Yeah. So, this is one that I'm going to send to him. All right. Definitely. So, uh, but yeah, uh, again, I, I wholeheartedly recommend this. And uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy it as much as I have. And until next time... Thanks for staying to the left of the credits. Oh.